Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is May 80 Super Bowl 4. So, hey guys, let me give you my quick match reaction. Argentina won, Colombia nil. Shout out to Argentina, man. Shout out to Argentina. They got the job done. And before I even talk about that, I just wanted to quickly address this. Condable is an official disgrace. And USA security also has a disgrace as well. This whole Copa America has just been a disgrace in general. The the whole security thing, the fans, like it's just been all around a crap show, you know. And for the United for Condable man, you bet it's just a disgrace. It's a disgrace. The guy aim was delayed an hour and fifteen minutes when it was supposed to kick off at eight p.m. It would kicked off at nine fifteen p.m. and I just think for me, man, it's just disgraceful, man. Disgraceful. But putting that to a side there, Argia versus Colombia. Let me just give you guys my quick thoughts. Colombia played well in this game. Their midfield is amazing. Rios, Lerma were fantastic. The issue for Colombia, the biggest issue, is that they're they're not clinical in front of goal. This team is too reliant on James Rodriguez for set pieces. And the issue for Colombia is just they just don't have any cold blooded finishers. Luis Diaz on the day just wasn't it. James Rodriguez just was limited. He was just getting man marked. So he wasn't able to deliver his beautiful crosses. And Colombia just in general just really looked very poor. And for a majority of the second half and extra time, I believe they only had one shot on target, which just shows how bad they were offensively. They were great offensively the first half, but after the first half, they were terrible offensively. As for Argentina, I thought Argentina were not great in the first half. Uh, but as the game went on and on, they grew in the game, grew in the game. You know, and you have to give credit to Argentina for able to win this game without Messi. Messi had to come off the second half. Argentina able to win this game. And, you know, shout out to Lissandra Martinez, Romero. They were so excellent defensively. Excellent defensively. I thought uh, Latar Martinez had a good game. You know, him coming off the bench in extra time. That pass from Los Celso. And you could just see the difference between the two teams. That RJ just have more quality depth. They could bring Los Celso off the bench. They could bring Paredes off the bench. They could bring um, these kind of players off the bench. Whereas Colombia, they could bring on Bore and uh, Caneros. And I'm sorry, these guys are mid. <laughs> like, there's levels to this, man. RJ just have a superior squad depth compared to Colombia. And Colombia just is just as sad, sad to see. Because I thought Hamas had an amazing tournament, man. But unfortunately... He, he he didn't get the recognition he deserved. But, you know, he had a fantastic Copa America. Getting runners up with uh, Columbia is still an incredible achievement. You know, this is their third ever Copa America final of history. Unfortunately, they weren't able to deliver their second. And for Argentina, man, it's back-to-back -back Copa America. It's the 16th ever, the most in Copa America history, as well as the fact they've also continued uh, the dynasty by winning another Copa America. So that's now one World Cup and two Copa Americas in between. So, can this Argentine team be as better as Spain? We're going to have to have a debate show about that probably when I get back from vacation. So like I said, guys, we'll do a live reaction real quick on the channel uh, with Rank. And uh, yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, it will be probably a short one because, you know, it's very late at night. It's like past midnight for me and I have to leave in a few hours. So we're not going to be doing for too long. Anyway, so hope you guys did enjoy this match reaction. And once again, man, congrats to Argentina, man. Peace out.